Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Wendy. I have to tell you, you your character makes me crazy. <gasps> crazy in a good way or crazy in, in a bad way? Such a good way. Okay, oh good. Oh, my gosh. I'm a mother, too, <laughs> so I have to tell you. <laughs> so I you can, can relate. relate <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You are the most memorable mother on TV now. Um, well, thank since, you. Since June Cleaver. I think you've taken her place. <laughs> yeah, I like to think I'm the anti-June Cleaver. Yeah, well, <laughs> we don't even know who she is anymore. She never existed in she real life. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, how did you uh, find this part, or did they find you? They came to me. Um, I started getting uh, pilot scripts last year around Christmas time before pilot season even started. And I was reading things and nothing was really grabbing me. And um, they sent me this script and I thought it was funny, but then they sent me um, actual footage of the family, you know, from the, the home movies of this family. And I said, well, that's mm -hmm. it. I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm in. I, I, yeah. I don't want to look at anything else. This is so insane that I have to play a member of this family. And I, I think I chose wisely. It seems to be going well. <laughs> well, I have to tell you that um, this week's episode um, it rang home with me because I used to, you know, go places I wasn't supposed to in the family car. Of course. And my mother would make me bring my little brother along. Oh. So... In Las Vegas, you, you used to be able to cruise Fremont Street. Now they have it closed off. Right. Well, I would make my brother lay in the back seat. Oh, no. So watching last night, was, or, uh, the episode last night was just hysterical. Oh. And then, and then I get to talk to you, and um, you're, you're so great in this role. I mean, Thank you, you are. Thank you. Oh, bless your heart. Great. <laughs> well, I'm having so a good I'm time. How close is this character to you in real life? Well, I don't have kids in real life. Uh, but if I did, I would probably be equally as horrifying. <laughs> because I, I understand that instinct to protect your kids at all costs. Mm -hmm. And I also understand the instinct to tell them what idiots they are. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. <laughs> but that's no. probably what I would end up doing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I've had to dig pretty deep because I, I, uh, I have no experience raising children and, mm -hmm. you know, but it, you know, it makes it, it makes it easy that the kids are as amazing as they are. And I do feel protective of them in real life. So that kind of works in my favor as well. Like I, I really do want to um, encourage them and protect them and and I feel like they're mine mm -hmm. so uh, I'm, I'm starting to to get that but it, it sure is fun to play this crazy woman so how about your fashion sense do you get to uh, do they just give you wardrobe or do you have some of that that's hidden away at your house oh no they give it to me um, yeah, I was a teenager in the 80s, so I didn't dress like Beverly um, necessarily because mm -hmm. she's a mom and, you know, right. has, a, has so many uh, little jumpsuits, I, I can't believe it. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't have any of that stuff in my, in my closet. Uh, it, but it, it sure is a treat every day when I get to go in and, you know find some more stretch pants. So what's your favorite <laughs> part of playing this role of the stretch pants? Um, my favorite part is that I get to I get to say things that I would never ever say to anybody. Oh, sorry. Perfect. Sorry. Well, I appreciate it. We, I think I have five minutes, so I'm okay. pretty much at the end, but Great job. I love you. And um, as I say, you're, um, you're unforgettable as a balmy. Thank you so, so much. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll go down in history. Thank you. <laughs>
Take care. All right, you too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.